Hello, my name is Amrit Burma. I'm the music librarian here at the National Library of Scotland. I'd like to introduce you to the music collections and later on um, I'll uh, perform some Scottish music for you together with a colleague and a user of the library. First of all, um, the collections comprise 370,000 items of printed music, 22,000 sound recordings and about 1,000 music manuscripts held in the manuscript collections. Our legal deposit privilege um, allows us to claim a copy of every uh, printed music uh, published here in the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Um, however, this does not extend to sound recordings, so sound recordings we acquire mainly by uh, purchase and donation. Our audiovisual collections range from early uh, sound recordings, for example on wax cylinder, on shellac records, also known as 78s, though not all played at 78 RPM, um, to more modern uh, records, vinyl records, uh, we also have reel to reel tapes and cassette tapes um, as well as obviously modern CDs um, and uh, there's also DVDs and uh, VHS tapes um, usually of performance material. The early printed collections of music uh, also contain some named special collections. They're named after the previous owner, for example, the Glenn Collection or the Ingalls Collection and the Murdoch Henderson Collection. These are all special collections of Scottish music. Um, we also have special named collections uh, of non-Scottish music. These are all internationally renowned collections and we have users from all over the world. They come either to see the music here in Edinburgh or they uh, use the collection remotely. Now, if you would like to find full text music, of our recently digitized music, go to digital.nls.uk. If you look under special collections of printed music, you will then see a search box on the left hand side and you can now search within this particular theme of music. Many users come to us looking for a particular Scottish song or a Scottish tune. Somebody might come to us and ask, well, I'm interested in my Encandirio by Burns. Well, we have the Scottish Song Index in our collections. It's at the present mainly a card index, although we have a pilot database on the website, so you can have a look at that. And this is an index which is very much uh, organized by the tune. And it gives you a musical insipid, as you can see, and then it lists the different publications that this song and this tune is contained in. So, in a way, you can now trace the publishing history of a particular song or tune. We also have tune indexes. Now, if we look at the card for my Incandirio, you'll see that um, James Johnson published it for the first time in his Scots Musical Museum, Volume 1 of 1787. Later on, another famous song collector, George Thompson, he also published this tune, and this time with different first words, they're marked here in red. If you turn the card over, you see, oh, it goes on. It's been published again and again and again. Uh, but you also see um, a reference to another tune title, the lyric, which is marked in green. This is the actual link to the instrumental uh, card index. When you look at the instrumental card index, you will find this tune appears in various ways and under various titles, mainly the song title we already know, My Incandirio, but also under its original tune title, The Lyric. There are various spellings as well, very complicated. However, um, I've taken two versions of the songs, the Scots Musical Museum and the George Thompson version, as well as two instrumental versions, one um, which was the first one published by Oswald uh, in his Caledonian Pocket Companion in 1754. And then also a later version, this is one for keyboard instrument. It's a very simple setting, but it also really gives you flexibility for performance. This was published around 1800 in a collection of Highland Strathspey reels. This is the first edition of James Oswald's Caledonian Pocket Companion. This contains tunes written for the German flute or violin. As you can see, there was always flexibility with traditional music. The way Oswald writes these tunes is he starts off with a simple version of the tune and then he goes into variations and he ends usually in a jig. I will play a section of these for you, otherwise it would be too long.
the 18th and 19th century, it was very common to publish traditional tunes in the form of easy keyboard arrangements, as you can see here. This also allows flexibility in terms of performance. We will now play this for you, but not on the piano. We will play this on the fiddle and the cello. my Encandiri O, published by James Johnson in the Scots Musical Museum in 1787. This version is written for voice and keyboard instrument, but we play it here with the violin playing an adapted version of the top line and the cello playing the bass line. Now this is the example uh, of the song My Incandirio as published by George Thompson. George Thompson was a famous uh, collector and publisher of Scottish songs and he came up with a very interesting idea. He sent Scottish tunes without words to famous continental composers like Haydn and Beethoven and asked them to write introductions, so-called symphonies, and accompaniments, uh, usually set for piano trio. The result is very interesting, as you can soon hear, as we will be playing this for you. Uh, you can hear a traditional Scottish tune, but set in a very strange Viennese style way. Now I hope you have enjoyed us playing for you and I'm very grateful uh, that a music volunteer Fiona Menis and uh, a friendly user of the library uh, Dr. Sally Garden uh, who is a singer and musicologist have both helped to perform these pieces and I have enjoyed this very much and I hope you have too. But don't forget we don't just collect old music. The National Library uh, also holds modern music material and they contain not just classical music but also popular music and educational materials. Most of our music materials are still listed in manual catalogues. You will find some in the online catalogue but if you do not, please get in touch with us because um, we have several card catalogues as well as useful indexes of music. 
I hope you have enjoyed um, our, our music clip so far and um, please don't forget, if you cannot find what you are looking for uh, on our website or in our online catalogue, please get in touch with us. You can email us at music at nls.uk and if you are interested in music manuscripts, please email manuscripts at nls.uk. We look forward to hearing from you.